Hi, welcome back. Uh, I'm playing once again with the Roberts R701. I've got some um, new transistors in that match exactly, so I've just taken my dummy transistor out. You can see that, and um, I'm just going to pop uh, an original transistor because I say the old transistor uh, was shot. So. Sorted. I have got uh, an IC on order for this one as well, so that does come in from, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's Japan or China I've ordered it from, but uh, certainly not the UK. <laughs> So the only people that I've got them in stock want a fortune for them, so I'd rather wait and um, pay normal money, to be honest. Right. Stick a little bit of my uh, no clean flux on there. Some nice shiny joint. Use this flux up because it's got a limited uh, shelf life. Like this expires October this year, so I'm not sure I will use it up. Right. So I've got the sponge on my soldering iron stand. Shop, make sure I'm not gonna burn myself. Just a back in. Let's temporarily connect this back up again and see if it works. Temporarily hooking this up to the power terminal on the side. I might get um, a genuine power supply for this. The speakers connect back up. Pretty convinced it's going to be that some um, chip there. But so I've had all the capacitors out and check those, all, all okay. Diodes checking out. Um, I mean, there is an audio chip in there, but let's so say I need to get some data ready for that chip. I think it's not as simple as the lead short out there. So if that one a couple goes in that. No, totally dead. I'm continuing now with the um, R701, Roberts R701. What I've done, I've um, gone through and checked the transistor voltages. Um, it, unfortunately, there is no service data on this whatsoever. So, um, you know, I've got voltages at the transistors. I've also done the voltages on the IC. One thing I did notice, and it's been a bit of a pig to get it out, is um, in the actual tuning capacitor if I can get you right in close there yeah it's weird there's some sort of I don't know it's like a powdery substance inside the um, plastic coating or the plastic cover so what I'm going to do now is um, carefully 
pop this plastic cover up, up and have a look at what that is because I mean end of the day if the tuning capacitor is shorted then um, you ain't going to get any uh, radio so bear with me I'm going to pop that off okay I don't know if you can see this um, I don't know what that is it looks like some sort of dead insect or something but I don't know I don't know if that would have got in there um, I may need a new tuning capacitor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean that up and I'm going to put my capacitance tester on and see uh, see what we got. Hi and welcome back. This is not a uh, scene from a horror show. This is basically what's come out of that capacitor. So it looks like uh, some little insect. I don't know what he's called. We call him Fred. <laughs> it's crawled in. Um, or a little grub has crawled in, I expect. Somehow found its way into the body of the capacitor and underneath that plastic shield. And, um, based, well, he's hatched out of his, of his um, little cocoon and uh, obviously can't get anywhere. So, uh, yeah, there you are. That's a first for me. I've not this seen that before. Capacitor. What I've done is I've, um, Given it a brush off with a soft bristle paintbrush. I've then um, given it a good going over with some isopropyl. Just turned all the mechanism, and I've blown it all free with front with air. So I'm going to uh, pop up my capacitance tester now, and uh, hopefully that um, won't need to be replaced because I've been searching on the net for another one, and um, I can't find one exactly the same. So whether it's a one-off that Roberts had in, or I don't know, this set dates back to 1990-something, I think. So Anyway, I thought you'd uh, like to see my little friend there. I'd say un he's met his untimely death, unfortunately, inside, but uh, yeah, there we are. Ah. <laughs> what do you know? Guess he didn't have the volume turned up. <laughs> there we are. Mystery over. Got a bad connection on the speaker there. So let me fix that a minute and um, give this radio a go over. Um, I've recorded this once, or I thought I did, but uh, I didn't have the recorder turned on, I don't think, anyway. So uh, here we go again. I'm going to start off with long wave. As I say, I have um, disconnected all the tuning mechanism for the time being. It's all uh, sellotaped over there just to uh, keep it out of the way. And um, I wanted to, to make sure I didn't have to restring it. So I had to get that tuning cap out because of that dead thing in it. So I'm just turning it by hand at the moment. So let's turn the volume back up. So that's uh, working on. That's long wave, medium wave. Let's screw it out of the way, it's hurt my fingers. Yeah, that's working. And lastly, FM.
Well, as you can hear, all good, all working on every band. I'm pleased with that, as I say. That, um, that was a bit of a head scratcher, but in the end, it's um, turned out to be this little chip here TA8117N Toshiba, which contains pretty much a radio and a chip. <laughs> pretty much. Um, had to send to China as well, so that's why it's taken me so long in between videos because uh, I've been, just been waiting for parts for this. But um, this can all go back together now and I can start the cleanup process and that uh, that's going to be a good little radio. So thanks for watching and join me again while I uh, get it all back together and give the case a clear up.